I look at a desk over there, I see a chair over there, I think about what kind of wood it is, I think about people's hair color. It's so incredibly difficult to relax or to focus on one thing because I'm always noticing everything. And that's like, that's too much. I can't notice all of this stuff and analyze all this stuff and focus on and absorb what the person's saying. Reading was the only thing I was really comfortable with in school, so I would just do it all the time. So I would sit with a book under my desk in math class, in French class, and in, in science. Um, because those classes required so much memorization and understanding of concepts, and it was so difficult for me to, to get there. I always got tutors, and I think my tutors were just mystified because We'd go over a problem, and we'd go over it, and go over it, and go over it, and I would finally get it, and then we'd move on to something else, and I, when, I, when we went back to a problem, it was as if we hadn't, I hadn't learned it. I have such a problem paying attention and really absorbing information, so I would absorb the first step, but then I would really have trouble with what came next. My entire life until I was 17, I felt like I was just always trying to catch up to everybody. I'd been having problems with focus, with inattentiveness for a very long time, so we eventually, um, I got evaluated. The evaluator sent us this long write-up of everything, all the tests I'd taken, all the results, and she eventually stated that I do have ADHD. It was such a relief to know that I have something that exists, it is treatable, they know how it works, and uh, aside from just having the relief of a medication, there's also tools that I can learn um, that have proven to, to work well with ADHD to help you just sort of survive. And I have tried a lot of biofeedback and therapy to build more tools um, so that I can overcome it with less medication and not rely on the medication as much, but it's been extremely helpful. It makes me feel more empowered. The problem with mental disorders is that you don't see them, and so they don't seem as real. But it is totally real. <laughs> I could vouch for that a thousand times. And I had to convince myself to recognize that this is something that can be fixed with a pill. They've developed that technology, and I can take it, and it will help me. If you have diabetes, you don't just go lower on your insulin because you think your willpower can overcome it or you think that you have developed, magically developed tools to overcome it. It's the same with ADHD. I'm very well adjusted. I overcompensate a lot. There's a reason why I'm so organized. There's a reason why I really categorize everything and that's because I have to. So I'm really thankful that I built these skills for myself. Everything I have is color-coded, alphabetized, you know, because I can't put something away and trust that I'll remember where it is. I think positive self-talk is really important, and so I think it's really important to remember that nothing good is gonna come of that negativity, and only when you recognize that you are capable, you just need to go through it a different way. I just need to use different tools than everybody, but I can get to the same results.